Next at six, there is an effort right now underway to weaken a bill that would protect kids from the dangers of concussions. But it's unclear just how much support it has. News 3's Theo Keith is here to explain where the concussion bill stands, Theo. Well, Eric, Sarah, opposition has stalled it out in the Senate committee. New today, though, we learned what opponents may want. An amendment that's circulating but hasn't been introduced yet removes requirements some call the toughest in the country. Requirements that protect kids from a second concussion. Instead, it puts school districts in charge of creating their own safeguards. Some say that means kids in non-school sanctioned sports like Pop Warner and Pee Wee Hockey won't be covered. Physicians say they'd like to see as many kids protected as possible. The issue in traumatic brain injury is that the brain has essentially been bruised. There's actually an injury to the brain that needs to be healed. And if an athlete returns to play um, prior to that brain being healed, they can suffer some pretty significant consequences from that. Specifically, the language that's been removed is that kids have to stop playing after they suffer a head injury and before they return, a health care provider has to give the okay. No one really wanted to talk about who was behind this amendment today. That includes Senate Leader Scott Fitzgerald. He's not commenting until the Republican majority meets about the bill. A spokesman for Fitzgerald says he's not sure when that's going to happen, but the spokesman does say Fitzgerald generally supports the overall bill, which includes those protections we talked about earlier. And definitely something we'll continue to follow. Thanks, Theo.